Hello, and welcome back to Conan Exiles. So, this episode I am planning to... Actually, let's see if my thrall is finished cooking. Should be, I've just been running around doing bits and bobs. Yep, okay. So, this episode I intend to get this guy a few levels. I don't need him to be ridiculously high level, just tough enough so I can go over to the Defari camp here and do a bit of killing and work my way up to the Brute, which will be right up near the end of the camp at the Temple, I think it is, and hopefully capture the Brute as a new thrall. So this guy will actually become uh, the defender for this base which will be useful so it won't be wasted energy so let's plonk him down where are you right you can go here sir I'm assuming you've got some really crappy weapons yes a stone club we do not want that do we at all and in fact, let's just get rid of this rubbish. Ah, okay, you can't just drop it from there. So, looks like I'm going to have to put it in here first, which is a little weird, but okay. Now, ah, I can drop it now. That's kind of strange. Right, you're standing there in your loincloth. Where are my spare weapons? So I think I'll give him the two-handed sword and he can take my light armor for now. I don't think there's any need to give him anything better. Right, got a few arrows here. Do I need them? No. I will take the iron cleaver and skinning knife there. Right. Yep, that should do it. Let's get this guy pimped out. Oh, okay. Thank you for a crash. Okay then, so I've loaded back in. And let's see if I can equip this guy this time without it crashing. It's actually showing that he's still got all his rags up, which is kind of weird. So let's try this again. Hopefully it won't crash. Because I have actually had a massive problem trying to get this game going already. Let's re-equip my axe and he can have the sword. Okay. Yeah, um, when I first started the game up again, every single time I tried to go near my main base the game would crash so I had to go into Steam and verify the files and I also removed those two little mods I was using you can see the little compass is gone just in case it was that so let's hope okay it seems to be working now let's hope it doesn't crash again so you're all equipped you can follow me and let's just have a quick look at your behavior. Engagement, right. Attack all enemies, yes. Is there no way of showing what it's on by default? I'm assuming it's on this anyway, but. Right, attack all enemies, that should do. What else have we got? Tactics. Um. Well, prioritise melee, obviously, because he has a big sword. Right, sir, come with me and we will get you levelled up. I am so paranoid about the game crashing there. It took me quite a while to get it working. And I wasn't expecting it to crash when I gave him some armour, so I am a little bit paranoid about it now. Right, let's find some easy kills, get this guy some XP. Crocodile, you will do, sir. Come on, mate. It says attack all enemies. 
Does this have to turn aggressive first? Yes, okay. Right, let's see how he does. I mean, he is level zero. But he's doing far better than my um, shale back did. Oh, excellent. So we've got a level already. Let's get a few things equipped. So there's no point in wasting the things that I can get from these dead creatures. So I might as well grab some hides and stuff while I'm running around. And I really need to remember what the button is to tell my follower to do something as well. <laughs> right, I suppose I'd better help him with this one. Because I do not want him dying straight away. Excellent. How's your health looking? That wasn't too bad. Okay. So, let's grab the hides again. Don't really need the meat at the moment. Although I do need to eat. So let's just eat some of that roasted crap. I don't actually know what it is. Shredded roast, is it? There we go. Topped up. Now, I was looking for the button to send him to do stuff. It's not R. T. Q. E. Ah, okay, so it's F. I don't know if that's default or if I've changed it to that though. Hmm, do I want more pet shellbacks? Yeah, why not? I can I can get this guy to carry them. I may as well. Considering how weak they are unleveled, I may as well have a few of them. Right, so you're level two. Let's find some more stuff to kill. I don't want him getting into fights with anything too tough yet. So I'll stick to this this simple stuff like these exiles and some shellbacks for now. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Nice, that's it. Give him a chop. Cool, okay. What have you got? Oh, you've got a note. Okay, let's... Info? Ah, okay, I've read this. You can always pause the video and read that if you want to. It's just a quick note. I do not want your wood, sir. What about you? You have stone. Right. And what's in your little stash? Ooh, more stone. <laughs> yep. In fact, I'll grab this iron while I'm here, I think. Let's just check my inventory. Right, I can get rid of the human flesh and the note. Don't need the fangs. Um, no, I'll leave it for now. I'll carry on collecting hides so I can build some more armour later on. Right, easy kills. Shall I carry on this way? Yeah, why not? I'll carry on this way for a little bit further. There are some more shellbacks just here. Right, let's try sending him to attack. And hope one of these doesn't have blue eyes. Nope. Right. We'd better help out with this one. Oh, nice, he's leveled up again. Okay. Let's let him take care of it. I think all the XP is shared anyway, but I do want to see how well he's doing. And I'm getting a fair few hides here, which is nice. I can get some leather made up. Right, I think there may be some imps up here to kill. Although I don't think I want to take the imp king on yet, if this is where I think it is. 
Let's have a look. Yeah, that's the cave with the Imp King. I don't want to take him on quite yet. Let's just run around and kill some random stuff for now. I'm still not sure exactly what I think about the old levelling up of followers, to be honest. It can be quite time consuming. Especially if you want some decent base defenders. <laughs> let's, let's shoot one of these for some feathers. Okay, I failed miserably there. <laughs> oh, okay. It's disappeared into the rock. Right, let's talk to this guy. With the weirdo mask on. Stay your hand, stranger. Come, look into the pit. The Lord no. empty your bones awaits therein. I am his shaman, Nuno. Your coming was revealed to me in the whispering of a bat's wings. Okay. You are lost. Seeking guidance, yes? Sometimes the whispers are silent. My lord grows distant. I weep alone in the desert. But there is a cure. The, the paths revealed to you by the lotus will not always be simple. Every opportunity is a test, and every test requires strength and an indomitable will. You cannot simply wander into darkness and expect to conquer. You will need to prepare, build yourself up, and find the other lotus. They bloom in other places and have many colors. I have a feeling, my friend, that you are going to taste it all before you are through. My heart has a question. Do you know the Lord of Empty Abodes? He knows you, child, through the flesh of your kind. He hungers to know more. All flesh is knowledge, every savory thought. Bring us knowledge of others. Yark is generous. We are exiled without conviction. Our crimes are of no moment. My crime was my belief. What matter the age of the flesh that my lord consumes? Does the lord of empty abodes make a distinction? Between flesh in the womb and flesh outside of it. Now my tribe walks without a shaman, and I seek the pure flesh to feed my god. My lord whispers to me of this place. He walked here in ages past. Here, there was a banquet of flesh for his pleasure, and kings called upon his wisdom. It is men who destroyed that age of abundance. Yog urges us to seek atonement. The flesh we bring is an atonement. Association of past sins. You are lost. Seeking guidance, yes? Sometimes the whispers are silent. My lord grows distant. I weep alone in the desert. Okay. That guy can just waffle on. The smoke of the lotus. So I'll he shut up. The world. So I've got the um the altar of Yog I can use now, which is nice. I did actually skip a little of that by accident. But I'm assuming most people would have heard that before anyway. And he's still talking. <laughs> Shut up, man. Okay, so we'll head over here. Maybe heading towards spider territory. And spiders aren't too bad on their own, but you can get swarmed by them sometimes, a bit like the hyenas do. Hmm, let's head up here. In fact, what level are you now? Is it level 3? Yes. Okay. And you need... Oh, you need to be level 10 before you start getting any of the decent perks. Or perks at all, I should say. 
Alright, so your survival's gone up a bit. So you've got a health bonus. And a few bits elsewhere. Right, okay. I'll game a few more levels. Just to toughen him up a little bit, and we'll see how he does against other exiles. Oh. Okay, two hyenas there. Something's attacking, and it's not them. Oh, here we go. This axe is pretty sweet. Although I should have made one of the DLC ones, really. They do look better. And he's leveled up again. That's pretty cool. Right. Oh, okay. You, sir, carry some hides for me. I don't need that savoury flesh. Um, you can carry these hyena pelts as well. That should free up a little space. Right, what don't I need? I'm not I'm not harvesting any meat at the moment, so let's take on these hyenas over here. I'm just a bit worried about running into one of the elites with the blue eyes. Because they will most likely wreck me. Now these these hyenas are going down nicely. Whoops, didn't mean to put the torch away. <laughs> cool, so. Hmm, I've just thought, I've probably been in the game long enough now that I will see my first sandstorm soon. Which isn't good news, actually, because I don't have a sandstorm mask. There should be, hopefully, be some nooks and crannies around here to hide. If it does come. Although sometimes I do get a bit cheeky and I'll carry a little stone and wood around with me just so I can build a couple of walls to shelter from a sandstorm in. Right, I can put this torch away now. We're still in hyena territory, so let's take a few more of these on. They're pretty simple kills. I mean, this guy's wrecking them. That two-handed sword is the business. Nice. Right, my encumbrance is nearly maxed out again. But he can carry these. So... Level four. Come on, you furry little bugger. And that was weird. He went straight for my thrall instead of me. Ooh, nice. Right, your health, oh, that's what I really want. I want him to have a decent amount of health, if possible. So, he's levelling up nice and quick, though, so I can't complain there. So, let's see what else there is. Some hyena pups. Can't really carry them at the moment. I think I may have gone in a little circle here. Let's have a look on the map. Yep, <laughs> I have. Well, that's not a big problem. Oh look, there's some of those angry birds. Right, get chopped. I will drink your blood. If you say so, mate. Seems a little excessive, but okay. Right, let's kill these two. Hey, where are you going? I 
Okay, so the bird's attacking me, and the hyenas are attacking the bird. <laughs> Excellent. Another level. So. Let's see what we get from the bird. Got some feathers, some meat and hide. And the usual from these guys. Right. You're level six now, I believe. Excellent. So, who else is there to kill? Oh, these guys will do. Ooh. Okay, I think I'm going to need a bandage. <laughs> Actually, while I think about it, I did pick up my aloe extract. Let's just put that in there for now. I will use another bandage quickly though. Because I do want to see how well these will do if I'm in combat. Right, you carry some more of my crap. That's a fair amount of hides there. That's pretty decent. Okay, that's a full stack. So, I'll get rid of this meat. And I'm pretty much working my way back around to where my base is anyway. Oh. Let's see, is he just fighting one up there? Yeah, he should do fine. In fact, I forgot to um, harvest these guys, didn't I? Right, a bunch more pelts there. Ooh, and you. So, I got completely turned away there. This is why I like my little compass, um, my little compass mod, which I had to remove. Okay, let's head this way. Um, there's another hyena there. In fact, I fancy killing a few Defari instead. Yeah, let's see how he does against other exiles. Because these low level creatures are kind of too easy at the moment for him. I think I will drop some stuff off while I'm here. You, give me all your stuff. Okay, let's take this out because I may have some shellfish. Oh, okay. Mistake. You, sir, take this stuff back. <laughs> right. Shellfish. No? Okay, so you need to use bait now. That's interesting. Because before, you didn't have to. You would still get something. Please don't crash. Phew. Okay, I'm still paranoid about that. Right, also, I'm going to build another little part of my base over there, so this isn't so clustered. So, hides. You, sir, give me all this. Got plenty of bark to be working with at the moment. So we'll get that started. Ooh, that's a lot of leather. Cool. Right, what do I have in here? That's better than the stuff I'm using. So we'll put that there for now. We'll just get this cooked up. I don't really need it. That can go, because it's just annoying me. Did I press? No, I didn't. Right. Feathers, you can go in this box here. 
No, you can have a bunch of this meat to help you heal, I think. Unless he's going to need potions as well. Um, so no shellfish. Oh, and I've just chucked my plant fibre away. <laughs> right, let's grab a bit more. Four, that's plenty. Throw that in there. Okay. Right, let's kill some exiles. I've got a feeling he should do okay against these low-level ones here. Right. Come on, mate. You can do it. I will drink your blood. He likes drinking blood, apparently. Yeah. He's doing okay. Just help him out there with a couple of arrows. Oh, okay, he didn't need it. Whoops, I keep pulling that torch out. <laughs> okay. Waste not, want not. So, he hasn't... don't think he's at any roast. I think that was at 42 already. Right. Oh, another archer. Go and attack him, mate. An archer three. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, I didn't want to draw this many on at the same time. What are you? Arm the what? Oh, I am getting wrecked. <laughs> Let's try a potion. Okay, so yeah, there was a small animation there. Oi. Woo. Okay. No, did he die? Oh no, he's still fighting. I was worried he was dead. Right, let's finish this guy quickly. Okay. I'm in a bit of trouble. <laughs> right, finish that guy and let's leg it. <laughs> Are you coming? He should be fine at least. He won't die like my pet did, I don't think. He should teleport to me quite soon, hopefully. There we go. Okay, so he's actually a fair bit tougher than me at the moment, by the look of it. And I haven't given him a name. Hmm. Right. Let's call him... Dingus McGee. That's better. Yeah, this guy's doing quite nicely, and he leveled up again, didn't he? So, level 7. He's, I would like him to get more points in his health pool there. Right. I mean, he seems to be doing okay. Oh, and he's going through that meat quite quickly. Sadly, though, I am not doing okay. <laughs> I do need to improve my combat quite a bit. Okay. I think I'm going to need to make some more bandages. Let's see if I've got some aloe lying around. Nope. Ah, here we go. Or shall I make more extract? Hmm. Let's build one. 
and I'll use this to make bandages with, I think. I will also need plant fibre, I think. Although, while I'm looking at it, let's have a look. Ooh, I've got 18 points. Excellent. Let's have a look at these improved bandages. Okay, I need to be level 35 for that. Okay. That's a shame. I actually thought I may be able to unlock them already. Oh, these are rough wraps. So, where do I make the helix wraps? Or did I just completely miss it? Let's have another quick look. So, healing wraps. Okay, they're crafted over here. They were right in front of my face. <laughs> okay, let's put the aloe back. I'll take the potion. And grab a bit of leather. Um, let's just take 50 for a nice round number. So I can build some healing wraps. Not sure how much better they are than the rough. We will have to find out. Okay. So my health is hmm, just over half. Let's use one of the healing wraps and have a look. That's actually pretty decent. Can't complain at all. Right. Let's run out of the wrong door, apparently. So, for these, I assume I'm going to need some bees and stuff then. To get some shellfish. But I'm not sure I'm actually going to bother getting any more shellbacks. Because they are kind of crappy. Oh, let's just get rid of this stuff. And I'm still carrying a bunch of crap I don't need. Right, plant fibre, you go in there. Hides, you can go in here. Excellent. So... I'm not sure whether to keep levelling him up again. Where is he? There you go. I do like this. He's doing actually really well. I do wish he had a bit more health, but he's doing some decent damage. And he's certainly holding his own better than I am. So, I think that will do for this episode because we're up to 30 minutes. And next episode, I think I'll take him back into the, that camp. I might get him a few more levels. Or shall I? Yeah, I'll gain some more levels before I worry about getting any more falls, I think. That would be a decent plan. So, yep, that's what I will do next episode. So, for now, goodbye.